Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sugandha and I live in Ireland and I make videos about living in Ireland and studying in Ireland specifically about digital marketing. So today's video is about an honest uh, experience uh, that I had. Uh, so an honest review, I would say, of National University of Ireland, Galway. So I moved to Ireland in 2018. Uh, I was enrolled in Masters in Digital Marketing in National University of Ireland, Galway, uh, which has now changed its name to University of Galway. So let's get started with the video. So firstly, I'll talk about the university itself and then I'll talk about the Masters in Digital Marketing course. So the, uh, so the experience that I had in university was great. Uh, my lectures were great. They were very supportive and they would always help you out with your CV, with your cover letter and with uh, even with the recommendations uh, to the prospective employers. And uh, the fellow classmates were uh, very helpful and very cooperative as well. Um, so the overall experience in the university was great. We got a great uh, industrial exposure. The orientation was great. The international office is very supportive. They helped all the students with their initial immigration appointments, which you have to, which you have to get when you move to Ireland within a month. Like you have to get your uh, GNIB card, which is like your a residence card in Ireland and if it, it proves that you are illegally staying in the country so yeah the international office helps with uh, um, such uh, admin kind of things and they also help with the accommodation as well I mean they might not be able to provide you with like they might not be able to uh, guarantee you an accommodation but they do help you get the leads so yeah, so the experience in the university was great. It has great, it has got great infrastructure. It has got great reputation in Ireland. Uh, so talking about the facilities that the university provides, the university has a great sports club, the Kingfisher Club, which uh, have so many facilities for so many sports like badminton, swimming, volleyball. Uh, it, also it also has its own gym, which provides discounted student membership, which is great. And the canteen facility in university is also great. It has got... I think four or five different cafeterias it also has a starbucks which has discounted student price for all their drinks and food etc and yeah there, there are so many different uh, facilities like it has a student hub where students can go chill and relax uh, when they have uh, you know time between their classes it also has different reading and studying rooms for students of different departments like in the business school it has a specific study room for students those who are studying business marketing etc so that was all about the university so now let's talk about the course in particular the masters in digital marketing so guys when i did my digital marketing in 2018 things were a little different it was pre-pandemic the world was i would say a normal place to live in but now of course we have we all have adjusted to the new normal but yeah things were a little different back then so most of the course uh we had most of the classes were offline in the university and i remember only one of the class or two of the classes actually two of the classes were online uh so most of the they so the lectures would come and they would uh uh, explain you the assignment and they would do a little reading for you but most of the work you will have to do yourself it's not spoon feeding it's not it's not uh, too much theoretical it's all about gaining the practical experience because you've got only one year of masters and you have a lot to take in in one experience and it gets really really hectic guys i'm not even kidding like i used to have uh, around one to two deadlines of assignments each week and i had to manage with my classes the assignments and part-time work so it, it gets a bit uh, a little hectic like you will have to uh, learn to manage your time accordingly but it all pays well in the end so yeah and talking about the modules the modules were relevant to the industry to the market and they were pretty extensive as well um, but uh, as a fresher in the field of digital marketing i had to face a lot of trouble in understanding few things because it's a master course so it's expected that you will have some experience but for freshers it gets a little difficult because they because for them so much is new they wouldn't know the technical side of digital marketing and that's what the course was missing it did not have much practical experience on the technical side of it for example specifically about se seo uh, they just had a one guest lecture class but when it comes to doing masters in 
in uh, international university so it's all about uh, gaining experience by doing those little assignments so with the assignments which we used to have was with the actual uh, irish companies so it was not like they would give us a just a assignment like made up assignment that was the actual assignments we had with the actual companies so for example there was a come golf luxury golf tour company so we created the whole social media uh, plan for the company so that is counted an ex as an experience especially for freshers it's very useful and you can add that in your cv in your linkedin because it is an actual experience and that's what i did because i was a fresher and for me it was uh, difficult to get a job in the uh, in the beginning so I added those little projects as my experience. I added those projects in my portfolio as well, which helped me a lot. So yeah, guys, this is the main learning experience that you will get through the university. Don't expect uh, lecturers to teach you everything, show you everything. Most of the work you will have to do on your own. They will help you with the assignments. They will guide you, but it's all you. They will provide you with the exposure, industrial experts, but it's all you who will have to put in the actual work so if you are coming uh, to ireland or to any foreign university i'm not sure if it, if that's how it works in other universities but here yeah most of the work you'll have to do yourself lecturers are there to guide you uh, but they will not spoon feed you guys so yeah the so if i had to rate the course uh, out of 10 i would rate it a 6 back in 2018 but i know that things have changed in the past couple of years they have added a few modules but i still feel no matter what college you go no matter what university you attend you will have to do most of the work yourself like you will have to do all these certifications extra certifications which are not even part of your course for example we had to do the google analytics certification which is obviously free uh, by google so that you will have to do anyways so this these are all the extra work that you will have to put in in order to uh, get those skills in order to uh, do those assignments uh, in a productive way and in order to get a job once you have once you have graduated so guys bear in mind if you are coming to ireland most of the work you'll have to do yourself and i think which is great because unlike i feel I'm not sure about other colleges in India, but when I was in India, um, it was all theoretical, like there was no practical industrial experience. And I think which is it is very important because if you are doing your master's, you are expected when you pass out, you're expected to have some experience, the industrial knowledge, skills. So that's the benefit of studying in such an environment where you, most of the work you are doing and you are getting the resources online you're talking to people you're talking to mentors you're talking to industrial experts and you're doing these surveys as part of your assignment and you're contacting people on linkedin on social media so surveys are uh, is a major part of marketing to get the knowledge of the consumer to get their opinion so you will reach out people through various channels like facebook linkedin so that you will get out of your comfort zone and you will do these things that you might have never thought you would do so yeah guys this all this all these things will make it a rich experience so university great course average but it's it's about you what you take out of it and what you make of it so yeah guys that was all for today's video uh this video might be relevant for the students those who are planning to move to ireland for this particular course in this particular university for coming years so if you know if if you know someone your friend or your family member who's uh planning to move to ireland do share this video and do let me know if you have any questions and also uh, do let me know if you want me to review any other university or any other course i have so many friends here so yeah, I can uh, get them on the video and talk about uh, whatever course you have questions regarding. So do let me know in the comment section. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.